Alright folks, it's Bitching Ace 88 and we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook, Pacific Bay. Case number four, Dead Girl Rolling. We're going to be heading on to chapter number two. Ace, the website I found about the victim is full of drama and intrigue, rumors about a secret admirer, and a fierce rival among the Derby girls. Huh, I only thought the only excitement in Susie Pickley's life was roller derby itself. Well, it got her murdered, Amy. There must have been something more to it than a couple of punches. Well, yes, of course. Commander Ace, what should we do? Hannah, do you know who was writing about Susie? Not yet, but I, let me rummage the blog source code a bit, and I should be able to give you an answer pretty soon. I think you might also want to check the plaza. There are many pictures of Susie skating there. She must have used it as her training ground. Great. Two new leads, Commander Ace. While we look, wait for Hannah to look through that code, what do you say we go inspect the plaza? Heck yeah. Ooh, 12 hours. Let's see what we can find here. Ha. I was doing this a little bit, so... What? Oh, they're actually talking about like a real flyer for an energy drink. Gotcha. Rocket cow. Gotta love it. Torn paper. Commander Ace, you really have a keen eye for picking up clues. This torn flyer is a promising lead. If only we could restore it. Now what is that printout you picked up? It looks like an advertisement for Rocket Cow. Wait a second, Rocky Cow is the energy drink that was used to murder Susie. Ah, so that's why you picked up this paper. Well, there seem to be some words scribbled on the attached piece of paper, but they're half faded. I really hope you'll manage to make them legible again. Ah, have faith, Amy, have faith. Ooh, showdown of the year. I like it. So they were really building that up. Oh, hey, there's a victim on this flyer. You're right. We also know the other woman. It's Mona Middlefinger. <laughs> so it seems Susie and Mona had a personal rivalry going on within the roller derby community. I agree. We need to talk to Mona again. I just hope this time she'll make more sense. <laughs> Mona Middlefinger. I love it. <laughs> Alright, what's this all about? Whoa, this is perfect for killing Susie. Well, great, you managed to restore the writing on this ad you found in the plaza. Perfect for killing Susie. Oh my goodness, this ad you found belongs to a killer. That's how they got the idea of using energy drink to poison Susie. How dreadful. But what are those cryptic words next to the message? Ooh, did I hear cryptic? That's my favorite word in the whole dictionary. I love coded messages, Commander Ace. I'll get back to you in a few hours. Yeah, six hours, actually. That's not that bad. Mona, you forgot to mention that you and Susie had a personal popularity contest going on. What was that all about? That squeaky little housewife? Please. She was no match for me. She was a newbie. Six months ago, she didn't even know her knee pads from her panty liners. Well, newbie or not, Susie was a captain of her team, just like you. Did you feel threatened? Nonsense. I'm never threatened. I'm, like, tough, and I play with the big girls. Now, excuse me, but I have to go write a new team song on my guitar. It'll go like this. We are the Pacific Pixies. We shall kill them all. La 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 la. Psycho! Psycho! Alright, well anyways guys, I've got to go to work, and you guys, I did not get the 200 uh, likes yet on my video, so I'm going to wait for them, and I'll wait the 12 hours probably, so I'll see you guys back there. Au revoir. All right, folks, and we are back. Let's finish off the. What was that again? It was something bull. Ah, oh, thanks for lending me that ad you found at the Plaza Ace. It was a perfect distraction. Those cryptic words at the bottom, piece of cake. 
They are Sanskrit names for yoga positions. Varsano means hero pose, and Malasana means yoga squat. Wow, I didn't know you knew so much about obscure subjects like yoga and exotic languages, Russell. Well, to be perfectly honest, I bumped into Jan in the library, and he may have helped me out a little bit with the uh, Sanskrit bits and the, the, the bits about yoga. But I can't confirm that your killer is, is someone who does yoga regularly. For your information, this is common in about 73% of cold-blooded criminals. It is because yoga keeps their mind focused. The intellectual discipline helps them to plot better murders, and in turn, the endorphins released by exercises are... Okay, thanks, Russell. For now, Commander Ace, I think I'll just write down that Susie Killer practices yoga. You've been of great help. I personally do not do yoga, so I... Well, we already know I am a killer, but... Um... The Rocket Cow, that's what it's called. That was, that was so sweet. Um, anyways, I believe... Yeah, I believe that we're going to be... Let's just do this. Because I'm almost positive we're going to have to do something right afterwards. So guys, I've managed to crack the code. The person bl blogging about your victim is none other than Becky Walden. Why am I not surprised? I'm sorry, but who's Becky Walden? Ah, right. Frank was helping you that day. Ace. Amy, Becky Walden's a... She's desperate for attention. She'll post anything on the net as long as it gets her noticed. I see. I agree, Commander Ace. If she was blogging about the victim, we definitely need to interrogate her. I'll call her in. Definitely. Let's call her in, do a little bit of analysis. Yes, I'm the author of Susie's Life, and now that my subject is dead, this blog will be my big break. They couldn't have assigned me a better person to follow. Susie Pickley was assigned to you? What do you mean? Who are they? The organizers of the Stalker Prize, Social Trend Award for Lifestyle and Bikini Reporting. <laughs> they contacted me on FriendNet and offered me an assignment. Uh, the organizers of Stalker. That's that's not an award that I would want. I would not want an award named Stalker. Um, but that is pretty funny. I wonder if they're going to be like the Crimson Order here. Because they they probably assigned her to the other one where she died. I was to write a blog about a local derby girl with as much detail in her life as possible. So I accepted. Bye bye small time blogging, hello fame and recognition. Becky, do you realize how intrusive it is to write about someone's life without their knowledge? Oh come off it. All these local derby girls dream of becoming celebrities. I did Susie a favor. If she wasn't dead, she would thank me. Wow, between Mona the unpacif Pacific Pixie and Becky blogging about her, it seems our victim's life wasn't as peaceful as I thought. No wonder she loved her quiet garden. She must have needed to escape from all the stress at the end of the day. Actually, Commander Ace, maybe we could do with a little peace and quiet to clear out our heads. I agree. We should have another look at that garden. I agree. Boom. Oh, look at it. Criminal case on tablet. That's pretty cool. Ash Bison. Wow, that's first. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, it's from like the first case. Okay, cool. Anyways, let's get back to the work. That's pretty cool that they put that in there. I like it. There we go. Um, shoot, I'm distracted now. Gardening bag is definitely going to be one of them. Torn book. Pruning shears, Chinese yo-yo, what's the difference? I guess that's the difference. And peg solitaire. Alright. Whatever floats their boat. Ooh, you found a gardening bag. You're right, the victim's hobbies can be re very revealing. Let's have a look inside. But what about this album? It's been torn into shreds. Is there any way you can fix it, Commander Ace? Come on, you know me. I do what I do. Cause I'm skills. I got skills. Alright, let's see what we can get here. A torch. Interesting. What's a torch doing in Susie's gardening bag? How did it fit? You think we should collect a sample from the ash on the torch, Commander Ace? Alright, obviously you're seeing something I'm not. I'll get my kit out. Yeah, I'm not seeing it actually. <laughs> But I do want to know how a torch was in that bag. It didn't seem like it physically could have uh, fit. Unless it's unless this is like a little small torch. 
I don't know, women's purses tend to be pretty big. Oh, that was pretty nice. Alright. Great, now that you collect a sample of ash from this torch, we can send it to Yon. Come on, Yon. No 12 hours, no 12 hours. You gave me a 12 hours. Oy vey. Twelve hours, man. Just brutal. Oh wow, this is, is this gonna be really that big or no? Okay, bummer. Oh, I wonder if it's is it side by side? I got that part. Well, this sucks. I am not the best at puzzles, apparently. What the French toast is this? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, whoops. Oh my goodness. That was horrible. Oh, scrapbook, how fun. I love scrapbooks. They're always so pretty. There's Howard's name on it. He must have wanted to preserve memories of Susie's roller derby days. Although, um, is it me or are all these pictures, um, rather explicit? Commander Ace, I agree. I think we're due for another chat with Howard Pickley. He seems like he's a little bit of a creeper. Mr. Pickley, you said you go to the, you got into roller do derby to support your wife, but none of these pictures are of Susie. Uh, well, you know, it, it's a team sport. I didn't want to single out Susie. Uh, I mean, I think Commander Ace is getting the idea, Mr. Pickley. Were you having marital problems with Susie? Well, you you could say that. Look, I felt bad about the scrapbook. That's why I tore it up. But really, it was Susie's fault I took those pictures. It was Susie's fault that you were ogling other women. Well, no, but Susie changed when she took up Roller Derby. She became, she became so confident, and other men started looking at her, too. I just felt... I miss the days when she'd stay at home and listen to my guitar solos after dinner. But lately, she didn't seem to care about me anymore. I knew she'd leave me one day. Why would she stay with me? So I just took those pictures to cheer myself up, you know? I didn't mean anything by it. Wow. Wow, dude. That is pretty intense. Anyways, guys, I'm actually going to have to wait another 12 hours. Um, I know I got a lot of cash, but took a little bit of uh, money. It was, I went for this option. So, for those of you guys who are all wondering what, what, how I did it, that's how I did it. Donated that much, got all that cash. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to actually wait for this. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Pitching ACD8, au revoir. All right, folks, let's finish off this ash. Ace, hey, so you say you found this juggling torch in your victim's gardening bag? Well, that's quite an unusual place. Oh, wait, what is it? What is it? A juggling torch? Yeah, the kind used by daring street performers. They light up on the ends and juggle with them. Well, it's quite impressive to witness. Well, that's why you found ash on the end of it, Ace. There are also traces of dust and sand, which match the exact chemical composition of the ground of the plaza. The plaza is always swarming with buskers, performers, attractions of all kinds. My kids love it, and I know pretty much every performer who works there. There's only one man juggling with fire, and his name is Lenny Spitfire. I'm sure you'll find him at the plaza, Ace. Lenny Spitfire. That guy looks like a character. Uh, I grabbed some stars, just a couple. I actually had a lot, because there's so there was so much time that elapsed that I was able to do quite a bit. Susie was a regular around here. She liked to train here with her roller skates. I thought she was beautiful, so I gave her the torch. I like giving gifts, especially gifts that burn. I like fire, the passion, the heat. That's pretty awesome. So you talked to Susie a lot then. Were you friends? Well, sometimes she'd say hello. It made me very excited. You don't get to chat a lot when you have to concentrate on juggling things. I'm so lonely. Hmm, I've never pondered the psychology of street performing before. Well, that's because you worry too much about sad stuff like murders. You need to have more fun. Watch me play the guitar with my feet and balance objects on my forehead. It'll cheer you up. Aha. Back at the station. Commander Ace, is it me or are all these people weird? Mona sounds like she wants to pick a fight with everyone, and this Lenny seems nice, but a little unhinged, and I refuse to even mention Mr. Pickley's lurid scrapbook. I don't even want to know 
want to think of her victim, who was, apparently, a shy person until she took up roller derby and completely changed behave. Commander Ace, it was all a lie. <sighs> I'm so angry I could kill them. If only I knew who they are. Becky, wait a minute, what was a lie? And who do you want to kill? Wait, what's this all about? The Social Trend Award for Lifestyle and King Reporting. It doesn't exist. They made me work for nothing. I'm not going to be internationally famous. Huh, the Stalker Award doesn't exist. But if it wasn't them who hired you for the assignment, who did? Who wanted you to follow our victim? I told you, man. That Stalker Award, she's going to be playing a part. Oh, man, guys, we have, I think, I could be wrong, but I think we have our new... Um, group in this district that's going to be interesting. So anyways guys stay tuned for the next part. It's been Pitching Ace 88 over and out.